Darlings, they're not much marked for an arrow, but if we don't eat something soon... Oh, we'll be at Wentworth Castle before long. Lady Maud should feed us well. Well, I hope her larders hold more than the farms we've just passed. I can't understand it. Empty houses for the last few miles. Not even any livestock. Not even a duck on a pond. Just empty homes. Can this be the way to Wentworth? Oh, there! Oh, we mean no harm. Is this the way to Wentworth Castle? Aye. If Wentworth still stands. And what peril threatens Wentworth? What peril threatens us all? The end of the world. Have you not seen the omen? The flaming star in the sky? Where's your village? My village is no more. When they saw the star, they all fled. And left Cedric the Simple alone. The star? Well, why didn't you flee? I fear no star, nor any witchcraft. I'm bewitched already. All I fear are strangers who ride our roads and rob our lands. All I want is just to live with my own people, but they run. We'll help you find them. Go, give them a hand. now. It's been seen at Wentworth too. There's no safety for us there. We flee the terror. We've seen the star again. What are you saying? You stop now to talk to your village idiot. Stand aside, fool. My village folk, they're running away. On your way. Wait, my friend. Why have you left your villages and your fields? They say to escape the wrath, we must burn our houses. We must take the forest, sir. It's the end of the world. We've seen the signs in the sky. Aye, the omen. The flaming star. It's doomsday that comes. But don't you see, if you burn your houses, you will freeze? If you leave your crops, you will starve? It's not doomsday you have to fear, but the evil walking among you that tells you such things. Unbeliever, out of our way. You're not one of us. You're a stranger among us. Be gone, idiot. Out of my way. Oh! Sir Ivanhoe! Who are you? Who are you to deny the signs? You've got no right to question me. I tried to save these wretches from their fate, and instead of thanking me, they listened to the gabblings of a half-wit. I'm finished with all of you. Let him go. Now, oh, you seem to know me. Do you trust me? I... Good. Then go back to your homes. He said the end of the world was coming. Oh, it's a stranger who makes you run like sheep from your homes. Go back to your village. And I promise you I shall try and find the cause of these omens. And should harm befall any of you, 
I shall be at Wentworth Castle. Thank you, girl. All right. you say all your serfs have deserted you? Since this omen appeared, one by one they've gone. There's no one to work the land or tend the cattle. I too shall be forced to sell my land. Has anyone offered to buy it? There is Baron Treville. He would buy. He was always a good friend of my lord. And now again he shows himself a good friend and neighbor. Oh, then somebody is left with you. This is Valimar, Sir Ivanhoe, and her company of actors. An Easterner? From? From Cathay, Sir Ivanhoe. They have entertained us well, and were staying to put on another show of their Eastern wonders for the harvest. But now the harvest. Oh, the harvest will be gathered, Lady Maud. The girl Valimar has her troubles, too. My husband, the great Castro, is gone. Gone? I can't believe you go willingly. He had time to take his chest of secret treasures, which he showed no one, not even me. My men searched for him, but while they did, a strange star appeared, and everybody ran in terror. Since then, my land has been full of fearful tales, and everyone has fled. Where is it again? That's the omen. You see? It shoots from the earth up to the heavens. Yes, but shooting stars come from the heavens and fall to the earth. A man-made star. Yes. Come on, girl. But what can you do? Where are you going? Out to study the stars. I believe they may lead us to Castro. Think that here, in this delicate, slender tube, lies the star that lights up the very heavens. It can also bring misfortune, Baron Treble. It can blow you up to the very heavens, if you're not careful. But so far, it has brought me much good fortune. There's more to come, Baron, in the courtyard. Good, Martin. friend, the one who frightens the peasants so he can buy the land cheap. I don't think he intends to stop at land. It seems incredible, my dear Castro, that a man of your intelligence did not discover how the black powder in that tube is made. There are certain questions one cannot ask the great car. The secret of this black powder is one of them. It would have been worth my very life if he found out that I'd taken the tubes with me. It will be worth your very life if you don't tell me the truth. How is this black powder made? I do not know, sir. I smuggled these few tubes out of Cathay in order to amuse the people at court here. Don't lie to me. You expect to sell the secret at court for gold? Do you take us for simpletons? No, I am the simple one. Did I not trust you when you said I was to sneak away unseen from Lady Wentworth? Only to have you steal my treasures and create fear and ruin among your own people. I have lost patience with you, Castro. Perhaps the rack will freshen your memory. Martin! Take him away! Don't you recognize that man, Martin? He's a stranger who scared the villagers. Come on, back to Wentworth. It's still hard to believe that Baron Treville's behind all this. He seems such a good friend. It's a very clever scheme to gain more and more land. Diabolically clever. He also stands to gain more power. And from what I've seen, he could bring disaster to King Richard. But that's incredible. Yes, it may sound incredible, but unfortunately, it's true. Well, we can't waste any time. Gerth. 
Get the horses ready, then come back here. Sir. Oh, Falimar, I have a plan, but I'll need the help of your players. Sire, we are all at your disposal. Good. From what I've seen with the Baron, he appears to like magic. Let's hope he likes my kind of magic. <laughs> Are you ready? Yes, sir. Good. Now you know what to do, boys. Yes, sir. <laughs> I've never seen a blackamoor with blue eyes before, sir. I hope the Baron hasn't. <laughs> oh, I'm sure the Baron's in for a good number of surprises, eh, boys? <laughs> <laughs> sir. You see, Martin, if this works out as I believe it will, you will understand why I want to know how the black powder is made. Fetch me a burning twig. With arrows such as these, I could conquer an army, even a king's, with only a handful of men. The twig, Martin. Get to the back of the room. Quickly! It seems to have come from Treble's castle, sir, but, but it couldn't have done. That's far too far away. It's burnt. It's a peculiar arrow. Can you explain it, sir? No, but I think our friend Castor may. Come on. The arrow's disappeared, sir. I can't see it anywhere. The company of players approaches. Send them away. I've no time to see anyone now. Right. Tell your master, the great Tazan wishes to see him. My master says to tell you he has no wish to see you. Oh, wait. Where'd that come from? From you? No. Tell your master, the great Tazan has stronger magic from Cafe. Don't you believe that Sir Ivanhoe will bring Castro back with him? Great faith in Sir Ivanhoe. But I realize now that Baron Treble is far more clever than I thought he was. Also, he has a great number of soldiers. But what can we do? We are alone and helpless. Perhaps not so completely helpless. <laughs> These tumblers are amusing, but now I am impatient for a test of your magic. I am eager to learn the secret of this black powder. Well, the secret is yours, Baron Traville. But I promised the ladies I would not disappoint them. Allow me to entertain them first, and then I am at your disposal completely. <laughs> And noble sirs, I am offering to transport one of you to the Holy Land, or perhaps to the Roth Cafe. Castro! Castro! All you have to do is to step into this box. There is nothing to fear, ladies and gentlemen. Well, how about you, sir? You look like a strong, courageous yeoman. But surely you're not afraid to take a point. Step into the box, bailiff. Let's see what happens to you. It takes time to transport a traveler to a far-off cafe and back, especially when he is as heavy as the bailiff. <laughs> to divert you while we await his return. I shall predict your futures. First, I shall blindfold myself. Then I shall ask one of you to step forward with a token belonging to another. Then I shall describe the lady or a gentleman, and then 
unfold the secrets of his present and future. And as for your future, Baron, I post. Everything is ready, Master. Uh, sire, my blackamoor informs me that all is now in readiness for the return of the bailiff. So if your excellency will excuse me, I... Pray, a moment, before you bring the bailiff back. You haven't told me about my future. Why, oh, yes, sir. Uh... Your future, Baron. Well, I, I foresee a great surprise in store for you, Baron. Now, if you will... Oh! And I have a surprise for you. Come. It's a token of my appreciation. Oh. We too have our wonders to show the great Hassan. The great Hassan is always interested in the wonders of the Western world. The surprise is inside. Pray enter. I am Castro. How do you like my magic, Sir Ivanhoe? So you found a burnt arrow. This little black powder drove it so far. I've seen the tribes of Asia use this. But not in arrows, in in fire wheels and sort of fiery fountains. The Baron Treville wanted very much to know how it is made. He tried to make me tell the secret. Did you tell him? I don't know it. I thought of it only as a pretty trick and I did not bother about it. Now you tell me about the burnt arrow. I can see that this powder has the power to overcome and kill many by a few. Mm. Power in the wrong hands always corrupts. I am a man of peace. And I tremble at the thought of putting such power into men's hands. I am glad I do not know how it is made. Well, there are learned friars who, if we took a sample of this powder to them, could tell us how it was made. Such a discovery could open many doors. Well, the pity they can't start with this one. Perhaps we can. Well, you got a plan? I follow Castro's meaning. This powder has great power, such as we've not seen. It could open the door to our freedom. No, Sir Ivanhoe, no. It is one thing or the other. If we break open our prison door, it will take all the powder I have left. But if we take our freedom, we may deprive our king of a great benefit. It's a hard decision. But if we don't get free, Baron Travel and Prince John will have the powder anyway. Well, in any event, we'll not stop this thing. It'll come to light sooner or later. And when it does, I would rather it be in the right hands than the wrong ones. Go ahead, Castro, use your powder. There are others in immediate need of our help. We'll let the future take care of itself. I will do my best. It is a heavy door. A light. A some thread from that curtain. Oh, here's a knife, sir. Flame. A light. A light, quick! Behind this 
Fox Boys. brings you here? I feared for your safety. Needlessly, it seems. However, that was the reason why I came here. And when I told my people, they followed me willingly. For that, I thank you. Now, I wish you all to listen to what our friend the Baron has to say. Now, sir, you will tell these good people that it was you who started the rumors about the end of the world coming in order to steal their lands. Tis true, I did so. And you will swear before all these witnesses that you will return the land. I swear I will return the lands. Sir Ivanhoe! Sir Ivanhoe, I find I have one star left. It will give you enough black powder to take to your learned friars. Are we ready to put it to good use yet, Castro? The decision must be yours, Sir Ivanhoe. Come! Into the courtyard, all of you. Friends, Castro is about to show you how Baron Treble sent his stars flaming into the sky. You shall see that it is no evil omen, but a star to light up the heavens and drive away fear and superstition. Well, here goes the last of my treasures from Cathay. Watch! 
watch him go. There's no power on earth can stop what he's begun. With fire and girth, he'll fight till freedom's won. Ivanhoe, Ivanhoe, he's a friend who will defend the people know. With speed of lightning, bold and brave and gay, injustice he is fighting to win a better day.